Alright everyone, and at San Diego Comic Con 2017, LEGO released a preview, or a sneak peek of Season 8 of Ninjago, the TV show, not the movie. And it's called Sons of Garmadon, first of all, so that'll be interesting to see what that's all about. But, the preview itself did show some interesting things. It basically um, shows like about a five or six minute long action scene, which is, they don't do that all that often, so it's kind of cool to um, see, you know, this extended, um, you know, just action scene. It definitely seems more, you know, tense than usual, because it's not, there's no uh, real comedic action or anything, it's just action with this team of six um, kind of mysterious ninja-like characters. They're wearing just regular helmets, not ninja masks or anything, with the visors, and we still really don't know at all who these, you know, six people are. Um, you know, it's not the ninja or anything, as far as we know, because um, you do see Lloyd in the, uh, in the clip. He's the only one of the ninja that you do see, but that brings us to another uh, interesting point that, um, you know, this little preview brings up. Um, the design of all of the ninja has, I, I guess it only shows one of them, but um, the designs of the ninja have been changed to look more like their Lego Ninjago movie versions. So you see Lloyd gets the green eyes and they have the newer style of mask. And um, personally, I think that it almost would have been a better decision for them to have kept the uh, looks separate between the TV show and the movie, because it would distinguish that they're in two separate universes. I think this is going to confuse some people. But the other thing it'll do, um, putting the looks, uh, making them the same, is it'll bring fans of the movie into um, the TV show, and they'll be more familiar with the designs of the characters. So I think that, you know, for new fans, it's a good thing. For old fans, um, it's going to kind of disappoint them. But I personally am completely on board with the change. I think that it looks fantastic. The animation of this season so far looks really good. Um, Hands of Time and Day of the Departed, I was starting to notice the animation quality kind of dipped down a bit from Skybound, because Skybound was really nice looking. But um, this definitely it brings it back up to that standard. Um, they changed the looks of Ninjago City as well, which, um, you know, they've done that a couple times before, um, and nobody's made a big deal out of it, so I don't think they're going to care too much. Or I don't think most people will care too much here. I certainly don't. I think it looked great as well. Um, and, you know, there's a lot more going on in Ninjago City in this clip than you see usually. I don't think we've seen any chases through the, uh, the city, besides in Rebooted, when we see the whole Overlord battle, but, you know, it was kind of like a half-destroyed city. But it definitely looks way different than that, so, you know, it's different, but I think that I can definitely get on board with it. And, um, yeah, overall, um, that's pretty much all of the new stuff we are. Oh, and Pixel's back, that's the other big thing in the trailer. Um, Lloyd talks to Pixel throughout it. Um, but um, the in the clip that LEGO uploaded to their YouTube page, they... Um, did not include the audio for some reason. Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. I'm forgetting things because the audio is not there. I did watch it with audio on some, uh, somewhere on YouTube. Um, it was, you know, filming the screen that they showed it on. Uh, and if I can find it, uh, if I can remember where I got that from, I'll link it in the description. But, um, Lloyd has a new voice actor, um, and I think Sam Vincent is his name, right? I might have gotten that wrong, but I'll, you know, annotate it in the... I'll put a little comment he, right here if uh, I was wrong. But, um, replacing Jillian Michaels, so, uh, I think it's actually a good sound for him. Um, you know, he sounded a little bit, um, on the young side still throughout the past couple seasons, so, you know, they're kind of grown up here. Um, there has been a time skip that was confirmed on Twitter by someone, I think Tommy Andreessen. Um, but, um, yeah, 
so there's a couple big changes and a couple small changes, but I, for one, am looking forward to how the season will turn out. I think that everything that was done visually it looks, looks great, and um, the voice actor change, you know, it's going to be a little hard to get used to, but I definitely think it'll work out in the long run. And um, the season as a whole seems like it's going to be very, you know, um, very kind of seems like it's you know going to be a great season um i'm interested to see uh where everything or how everything comes together because we've heard that there's a, we've heard a lot of different things about the um about the story of the season a bunch of little tiny snippets of information uh, like we're going to learn something about sensei wu's element and all that and um we're going to learn some stuff about zane uh and how he got his elemental uh, power. So I don't know how they're going to tie it all together, but I think that, you know, it's teeing up to be a great season and I'm definitely looking forward to it um, sometime in 2018. So still don't know, you know, when or how the episodes are going to get released. Uh, I believe there's 10 episodes in the season. Should be coming up next year uh, at some point. So looking forward to it. And um, I am also looking forward to the sets based off of this. It seems like there is one likely set out of this. Um, clip, uh, they're probably going to make that Lloyd vehicle, you know, as a set, and possibly the little vehicle that the bad guy, you know, the motorcycle thing that um, the bad guys are riding on. Um, it'd be cool to see a little heist scene, um, like a little play set, but I don't know how likely that is. So, um, yeah, definitely um, stay tuned for more information. If you, this video proves popular, maybe I'll do another update video whenever they release, you know, an actual trailer or something, but, um, I figured that, you know, it's an interesting, um, interesting change, this is definitely the biggest season so far, I think, um, or the biggest sneak peek that they've given at Comic-Con, just because of all the new changes that are coming with this season, but, um, definitely looking forward to the Ninjago movie, looking forward to this too, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys all later, let me know what you guys thought of this video, if I should do more stuff like this in the future. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.